Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to kind of just take you along and show you what my daily cleaning routine looks like. It's not much. You guys might think that my house is always clean and it's not, let me tell you, it is not always clean. It is a daily struggle, especially with two kids and a dog. And I just kind of wanted to take you along and show you what I do throughout the day to kind of help maintain a clean home and have it look nice. It takes a lot of work and I feel like I'm always cleaning, but I'm not always cleaning. So I kind of wanted to show you that, but it is the afternoon and so this is usually when I start all of my cleaning stuff. I don't do anything in the mornings because one, I like to be lazy and kind of take my morning slow. And two, my husband is home in the morning. So that's usually, you know, when we're drinking coffee and then I make him breakfast and I have to make his lunch to take to work. So the mornings are kind of busy with that. But then later on in the afternoon, that's when I do most of my cleaning. So I figured I would take you guys along and show you that. So let's get started. So I always seem to start off on the kitchen when I am cleaning up for the day. It drives me crazy when my kitchen is a mess and there is usually always some dishes in the sink. However, today was not as bad because my husband brought leftovers from yesterday so I wasn't really any cooking anything this particular day. But I did start off making my daughter some lunch and then I will empty the dishwasher, fill the dishwasher with whatever dishes are in the sink and then kind of just pick everything up and wipe everything down. amber bottle I don't know if I've shown it before on videos but it is a mixture of fabuloso and water probably a quarter fabuloso and then the rest water since fabuloso is very fragrant you don't need very much when mixing it in a bottle like that I did get this bottle off of Amazon and it is plastic I know a lot of people use the glass amber spray bottles but I drop everything so I did not want to get glass because I've already dropped this bottle once and the top broke <laughs> so thankfully they sent me two and I was able to use the other top but knowing myself I knew glass was not going to be a good idea so I got the plastic. So now I'm in my daughter's room. This isn't something I do every day. However, you can tell that it was very messy, so it needed to be picked up. And when they are asked to pick it up, it doesn't get picked up properly. So I just caved in and did it myself. I put everything away, just tidied it up a little bit, and then also folded that basket of clothes that were there, and then gave it a good vacuum. With you, baby. Time to figure out what this could be.
So I just got this Caldrea room and linen spray that I have seen everyone talk about and rave about. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It is a pricier room spray and honestly, in my opinion, probably not worth it. It does smell good. However, the scent does not linger like a lot of people have mentioned. I don't know if I'm not using enough or what, but I probably wouldn't buy it again just because of the price tag. Going back to my old hometown Picking up the years I leave behind Getting in my car I drive as memories fly by Driving by the fields I used to run through Where you were chasing me so now you see me in the kitchen again. <laughs> this was after dinner. I had cooked the girls breakfast for dinner. So I did have a little bit of a mess to clean up. Usually at nights, I'm just reheating what I had made previously in the day. But since I did not make anything earlier, I did need to cook the girls some dinner. So every night I clean up from dinner, just do the dishes, wipe everything down again. And then I also will vacuum all of the common areas. So the kitchen underneath the dining room table because that's where all of the crumbs linger <laughs> from the girls eating and then also in the living room and maybe the front room maybe my bedroom depending on how i feel or if i notice that there's a lot of hair i'll do that but usually just the common areas i will vacuum every night oh, sweet memories of a town I love by also do clean out my sink because I do not want to wake up in the morning with a stinky sink so I scrub it out with just the sponge and some dish soap and then we'll also drop down one of the plink garbage disposal scent things the little balls I like the orange scent because then I also drop in some of the orange essential oil in there as well and then it leaves my sink smelling nice and fresh I said I loved you, but you let go I waited for hours, but you never showed You were all my heart knew That's all I held on to But you let go We met over coffee and said So like I said, I vacuum every night and 
usually the girls will be playing outside and if you haven't noticed it is still light out so it's not like I'm doing this at 10 o'clock at night as long as I keep up with my cleaning routine I don't have very much to do every day it's when I don't stick to my cleaning routine or get lazy or slack a little bit is when I find myself having to play catch up so having a cleaning routine every day really helps minimize the amount that you actually have to do every day so like I said it's still light outside I wasn't doing this all day I wasn't spending my whole night cleaning it's just a little bit of picking up and cleaning here and there every day through the whole day so there was stuff in there that I didn't show like me sitting on the couch or you know browsing Instagram so keep that in mind that it's not all day long that I do cleaning it's like in little bursts and I feel like that works best for me you do what works best for you my routine might not be what your routine is and that's totally okay everyone's lifestyle is different just I just wanted to put this out there so you guys can see what my daily cleaning routine is like. It's not what you think it is, I don't think. Um, I didn't steam mop tonight because I steam mopped yesterday. It probably could have used it tonight because with a dog and two kids, my floors get so dirty, especially with tile back by the back door. You can see footprints like at all times. So. I probably would have steam mopped tonight, however, tomorrow is my cleaning day. Each week I do one day of like cleaning my whole house, and so that is tomorrow, so I figured I would just mop all the floors tomorrow, but typically I do steam mop every other night. That's just what I do, my floors get dirty. I wanted to show you my vacuum. I just mopped, or I just vacuumed and mopped last night, and this is what the canister looks like. Granted, this is the carpets in the front room and in my girls' bedroom, so it's probably a little bit more than if it was just the tile, but I vacuumed the tile last night, and this is everything from today. I emptied it before I vacuumed today. So this is why I have to vacuum every day because the dog hair and the dirt, we live in Arizona, we have dirt all around us, so the dog hair and the dirt is unreal. It might not be that bad in your house, so you might not need to vacuum or sweep every day, but I do. It makes me feel better. It makes me happy when I don't see a ton of dog hair on the floor. So that's what works for me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this routine and kind of got to know me a little bit better by seeing what I do on a daily basis. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, you just need a YouTube account. It's free, it helps out my channel, and I would greatly appreciate it if you did. Go ahead and give this, this video a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, leave them down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.